Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and they are holding an absolutely fantastic book. Now if you've tuned into my channel previously you may have heard me talking about how much I love Alice in Wonderland and, and the through the looking glass, even the looking glass wars that uh, reports to tell the true story of Alice in Wonderland. This is your quick 360 of the book but this is just Almost ignore the story outright on this one and just enjoy this for the piece of art that it is. This is one of my favourite books in my um, collection as I've got a lot of plain old simple paper books there. If I just reach out of shots in the background here, you may also be interested in checking out my future video on Mr Bliss. This is another one of my favourite books and a very unknown, uh, one of the lesser known Tolkien books there. But we want to get stuck into this unbelievable book. So if I line this up at the bottom of the screen here, that should give you a clue of just how much this pop-up book is about to pop up. And opening up these pages here, oh, absolutely wonderful. I love this opening page. There's a few things to show you here, but just this sheer amount of 3D pop-up you have got here, just reaching out of the book there. I mean, how beautiful, how wonderful. And you've got the Queen and Mad Hatter and the Cheshire Cat hidden there, little Alice there too. Oh, I see a white rabbit. He might be very late, I wonder. Um, but I've, just to give you an overview of the book, we're not going to go through every single thing here, but you have the stories that have told over these small side pages. And even these have got their own 3D pop-up images here, which is just fantastic. And I love this one here of Alice swimming for safety. And as you open and close, you've got the motion of her kicking her arms and legs out to swim there. Just fantastic. One final thing that I'll show you on this opening page is this little tab here. It says, open me. And then we have got, pull me up and look inside. So I'm not sure why I said that so weirdly. But as you can see, we've got this huge bit that pops up and pulls away from the page. And if you look inside there, you will see Alice tumbling down the hole. I wonder whether he might have anything to do with this. I'll let you find out. So if I try and line this up for the camera now, please forgive me. As you can imagine, this is pretty tricky to do freehand. Um, but if we can get this up here, how fantastic is that effect? You can see Alice is on a bit of perspex there just slightly raised from the bottom so it gives it all that super 3D effect here and again I just really do absolutely love this absolutely oh, absolutely fantastic little book this so that's been a quick look at the first pages here and I'm going to try and get everything just run through the main pages and the main pop-ups just to give you a taste of this I'm going to leave a link to this on Amazon in the description because I cannot tell you I just recommend owning this book as an interesting object so much so here you can see we have got Alice and she is trapped inside the house oh no and you can even see we've got a little little plastic window there where you can just about see Alice peering in there but again, just fantastic. The animals aren't looking too um, too pleased about what's going on here. Um, next next uh, page. This one I love as well. I'll show you one of the things I love. Again, a lot of motion here going on as it all raises up. So one of the things that I love about this particular page is the cook in the background. You can see we've got a little bit of motion as we open and close the pages slightly. But if we close this completely now, and now open it, if you look where the cook was and see just how much motion she has in her arms and everything as we open the pages. And I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's like I say, I love the 3D, like the incredible 3D elements of this book. But I also love some of these amazing little bits of motion here. So there's one thing that I really want to show you here with the little book pop-up part. And that is this lovely little animation as you open up. And oh, there comes the Cheshire Cat. And I just love the way that, if I get that in the light, I just love the way that he pops up at that last little moment. Oh, there he is. There he is. Anyway, let's get him away from that distraction. Hours of fun, this book, as you can see. And this, one of my favourite scenes ever from any of literature, I suppose, the Hatter's Tea Party. You can see Alice is not looking very happy at all there. But again, just this beautiful little 3D pop-up. And I love, like you say, how it can make, so, how it's so cleverly crafted, this book, that you can see you've got not only like teacups and things like that appearing on the table, but the table itself popping up from obviously completely flat to being 
some sort of almost isometric view of the table here. Absolutely great stuff again. Um, next page. This one I think is my least favourite of the pages, but that's not to say that it's not still great. As if we open this up, you will see that we just have we don't have so much 3D or motion in this, I suppose. You can see this is the uh, famous uh, flamingo and hedgehog croquet uh, affair going on here. So, again, if we now have a look at what I believe is the final page, and this one, I'm not sure exactly what it is about this, but I think this is almost like the most magical page, I suppose, it could be described. So, without further ado, let us open this up. And how beautiful is this? I mean, what a the finale, just the three, the colours, how 3D it is with all these bits sticking out in all sorts of directions, just amazing stuff. And Alice, again, not looking too pleased to be in the middle of all this action and excitement, but what an absolutely beautiful work this book is. Oh, just great stuff. So I've done a video like this on this book in the past, but I just wanted to do another one as I've been creating a new sort of ongoing weekly series of reviews and recommendations of things from books to audiobooks and podcasts and YouTube channels and stuff. And I really just wanted to throw this out to all of the new subscribers since years ago when I first did a video on this book, as I just I wholeheartedly believe, as you've probably gathered from this video, that this is an item worth owning. Just fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, until the next time, I suppose I will wrap things up and say, check out my other videos for all sorts of sort of interesting objects here. And well, all sorts of videos from the great outdoors, walking, biking, hundreds of videos about living on a canal boat in uh, Great Britain. And goodness knows what else. Check out my short Kindle books if you're really interested in boat life. You'll find links to all sorts of stuff and the Facebook pages, all that sort of stuff in the description below. Until the next time, though, have an absolutely fantastic day. Keep it book worthy. Keep it pop up worthy. And until the next time, have a great day and just farewell.